Hello, I'm Eric Singer. This is your Gazette Morning Delivery for Friday, June 20th from your Pulitzer Prize winning news leader. We're tracking election money and the how much of it you're spending in El Paso County for uncontested races. State law requires ballots to be sent to every voter if the primary races are uncontested or not. The Democrats and American Constitutional Party have no contested races. So how much are you spending on ballots for these races in El Paso County? Almost 70 grand. The man who will likely be the El Paso County Sheriff is talking about his tenure in office after the election. Bill Elder won't call for Sheriff Terry Makita's resignation, but will say his team is ready to step in and take charge of the office. He's also ready to hire the three men who were placed on leave by El Paso County Sheriff Terry Makita. You'll remember the trio filed a lawsuit against the sheriff that started the investigation into Makita's alleged sex scandal with three female subordinates who were put in leadership roles by him. A mother comes up and says, hey, my son was in your camp four years ago and uh, he had a great experience. It helped him in high school and now he's enrolled at such and such university. Um, those little one minute segments are, are quite meaningful. Air Force Academy head coach Troy Calhoun opening up about why it's important to have sports camps to mold young people and help build character. Watch my Friday morning salute, which says thank you to the military and those who support the military in our community. News, weather, and sports anytime, all the time. Your way when you want it on Gazette.com. Like the Gazette on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. I'm Eric Singer. Have a great day.